was real. So are you saved? Am I saved? Yeah. It depends on what your definition is being saved. Well, what's your definition? There's <laughs> so many definitions. Well, you, know, you asked the question, so I will. Well, if, if you're talking about according to the Bible, according to the according Bible, to what am I saved? you say? believe and what I believe, then there's only one definition. I'm saved as far as just the believing aspect of it, as far as believing the aspects, the principles, I should say, in the Bible. Okay. I would say, yeah, I'm saved. But as far as am I saved? As far as your every your lifestyle. No, I'm not saved according to my lifestyle. According to my lifestyle, what we view as saved today, <laughs> nah man. I'm going straight to hell. Me and the devil, he waiting on me right now. He got a dinner waiting on me. So he popping popcorn right now for me to come down. <laughs> if you want to talk about lifestyle. Yeah. Nah. So that don't bother you, man. Yeah. It ain't gonna take long because they in hell already. The heat is not, that don't bother me? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm sure. Well, you know, I put it like this: if you don't, if you don't have a, uh, you a see, I'm honest. You see, I'm honest. Yeah, no, nah, that's why. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm being real. I'm, I'm being, trying to uh, say if you don't say have, it right, how you? No, I'm, I'm not trying to sugarcoat it. I just yeah. want to make sure I'm saying what, saying what, what I, I need to say. If you don't have a uh, a solid foundation. God, then you can get to a place to where your your sin, your lifestyle won't convict you, and so that's part of the reason why I don't convict you. But it serves as a reminder of God's goodness. It's not just because you've been through something, no, nah, because He woke you up this morning. That's that's enough right there. Okay. So when, when you uh, when you deprive yourself of the assembly. Of, uh, of the saints, of you know, going to church and, and uh, worshiping with other people who are of the same like mind, uh, who who are also striving to live for excellence. Then when, when you miss that, you you become disconnected. You know what I'm saying? Then you kind of you forget, you know, the small things that you take for granted. And see, you don't. You know, hell is real. You know that. I mean, I know that according to the scriptures. You see what I'm so, saying? But do you believe? It? I don't know what to believe no more. To be honest so, with you, Kenny, okay. I, don't, I don't. I don't know what to believe. Believe is a different type of word to me. Um, and and I'm just being real, man. Like yeah. you know, I, I don't. I don't knock anybody what they believe. But through my experience, because I can only speak through my experience, correct? Okay. I can't speak through anybody else's experience. I don't know what I believe, brother. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's hard to say. I, I used to believe that there's a heaven and hell, and I was very strongly convicted of that. There's a heaven, there's a hell. When you die, you're going to go to hell if you don't believe in Jesus Christ. So what what, what made you believe that? What, what made what, me believe what, that? What brought about that conviction? Well, I believe it had something to do with my parents and my, my upbringing. You know, I was raised in a two-parent home. We, if you didn't go to church, you got your butt whooped. But but you went to perfecting and the word of faith on your own strength. Yeah, I did that on my own strength. So that's, what I'm but saying. that's after that's after you know I was raised in the church. I mean that's you talking about you know when that's all you know to believe. What word do you what do you do? So do you feel like you successful? Spiritually? No, just period. We ain't talking about I'm just as an individual. You feel like you successful. Like, well, I don't I don't need God. It, no, I wouldn't say that because I do believe in a higher power. I do believe in God. Like that's that's a strong like I don't believe in God. No, nah, so I believe in God. <laughs> so this one I just, I just <laughs> if you believe that there is a God, I just you don't see that you can't feel uh, you only only way you have to know that there's a God. Is it because of uh, what the Bible says, first of all? And then the, the way the, the the grass or the you know the earth, just you know, just human existence. 
howled in. You know, you, you can't, it's like, you can't well, believe I'm not, one part of it and then not believe the whole thing. Well, I hear, I hear where you're going, where you're going with this. Put it like this, man. All my life, I've been taught to believe God according to the Bible. Okay. Okay. Now, now roll with me here. Okay, I'm listening. I've learned how to believe God, not just according to the Bible, but I've learned how to believe God according to the Bible, according to other people who have a view about God also. Okay. And I shouldn't say believe. I should say I've learned how to appreciate God and his many facets. Okay. You have people that believe in the Bible. You have people that believe in the Quran. Okay. You have people that believe in Buddha. Okay. You have people that believe in Judaism, Jews. I've just learned how to appreciate everybody's or listen to everybody's opinion about God. That's fine. And not just the way I was raised. So can I share this with you? Uh -huh. Do you understand what I'm saying? I understand exactly what you're saying. Not saying that any one of us is wrong or right. Don't get it twisted. Okay. Okay. I'm not, I don't never do that. I don't ever say, well, Kenny, you wrong because you're a Christian and you are a perfect. And this guy over here, he's wrong because he, now I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't care if he did. Yeah, I wouldn't but get I would, offended. But some people do and I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's cool. You, you know, I'm not out here. Human, they, yeah, I respect human, human beings. You know, out here to defend nobody. Right. But, I guarantee you, you get a firm foundation in God, and you develop a close relationship, and everything that you thought you didn't believe about God, it, 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 that light will come on. He'll reveal it to you in ways that you never imagined. And see, that's 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 what people miss out on, man. We we get so caught up in what everybody else says or, or what what this person thinks mm -hmm. or what what science has proved somewhat proved to be okay this is what God is but none of these people actually experience for themselves the power of God no they don't and they like that's the only only way you can say well there ain't no God or or that that uh there's no Trinity because you don't understand it you've never experienced such a thing to be able to expound on that. Okay. So it behooves us, man, especially since you know better. You've been taught that. Imagine the people that ain't been taught that they don't know nothing about you. You got an advantage. See, God can hold you accountable because you know, deep down in your core, you know it, you know the way. Okay. But you choose do was comfortable for you. You, you think so, though? I you don't think so, man. You don't think you, know you don't why? think being a Christian been be down that. I've been you, down that road, you, you, man. You, but you don't think, and I'm just playing devil's advocate here. Yeah, yeah. You, you don't think that. You, you don't think that me being a Christian would be comfortable because I was raised that way and I know how to talk. You know, Christian. I know how to be a Christian. I know how to read my Bible. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't think that would be comfortable for me? I'm just, I'm just saying. You don't think the walk that I'm going down now is this comfortable? The transgressor is hard. So, so this will be hard then, huh? What I'm doing now will be hard, don't you think? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's what I'm asking. If you, you, you said earlier your lifestyle is not lining up. Is not lining up. No, it's so not. according to the Bible. According to, but that's God's word. Well, and see that, and see now we get into something totally different. All right, but I, I hear you. I hear you. Not now, because now I feel like maybe you don't really believe the whole Bible. I don't believe the whole Bible. And why not? And and that, like I said, I don't. You just you asking me my opinion because I don't like to offend nobody. No, but yeah, no, hey, you, you trust me. Okay, ain't, okay. Ain't, ain't everybody, no, you know how people is though, Kenny. Come on now, you know how church folk is. You, you, you I'm say, good. I man. respect that. I respect because that. I'm, I'm, I'm just making I'm sure. clear in where I am okay. and what I understand and what I know. All right, because I live this. This is what I live every well, day. Well, it, it's not about me disproving. I don't want you to. It's just this, man. I don't take everything in the Bible. That's true. Okay. Everything in the Bible is this truly model, stated, man. but every, everything in the Bible, the principles of the Bible are true. Right. You see what I'm saying? Okay. The principles of the Bible are true. And my philosophy is, if the principle be true, 
then the story itself need not be true. You feel me? So do I believe that Moses took a stick and split the sea on dry land and then they went across the River Jordan on dry land? In the movie, that's possible. Okay. If you know anything about the Nile Valley, in reality, that ain't possible. With goats and herds and gold and silver that they didn't took from Egypt and in the movie, oh yeah, you could do it in the movie. So but 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 in reality, no, nah, you can't do it. So, so do let I, me ask you this. Do you believe that all things are possible through God? I do, do but I God can do anything. Yeah, but my thing is, my whole philosophy about that story is, you know, The same way they went into Egypt, mm -hmm. why they had to split the sea? How come they couldn't go the way? <laughs> you know, it's, I just well, use that, we can always ask that question. Why? Why does God allow us to go through uh, through the fire of different trials so that we can be stronger as individuals? And it, it, see, you you kill yourself trying to figure out why, why, why. But if I, you, it, I still I still think I still think that certain things in the Bible are principally based. That's just my opinion. Okay. And, and, and everything is not to be taken literal. That's my opinion. Okay. I don't believe stuff like that. that. I kind of use my common sense and I say, okay, well, this is a principle that they're trying to put across. You know, he found his wife. Well, where'd she come from? You know, don't know, ain't no preacher answered that question for me yet. And so I've been in church all my life. Is that really, but what? Let's say you do get the answer to that. I'm not gonna get the answer to that. Is I didn't that put, a, I didn't put up a, I didn't put up a thousand dollars. I mean, but but, but what, the, the thing is, these are. <laughs> it, but that's my whole point. So I I, I feel like you're trying to disprove. I'm not trying to disprove nothing, man. I'm just trying to. Look, Which man, I, I, I ain't got a problem. I, I, all I'm you trying to say. Make me the no, and that's why I asked you. Was you you know are you the defendant? I'm, no, I'm not. Not I'm at not, all. I'm okay. not. I'm not. Offended. But do you understand my point a little bit? Like, I, I'm the type of person, I never turn off my common sense light. We tend to do that when it comes to religion and faith. We turn off that common sense light bulb that says, well, wait a minute. And one gospel says Jesus died on the third hour, and the next gospel said he died on the ninth hour. Okay, what's going on here? That's my common sense light bulb. We use our common sense light bulb when it comes to everything else. But when it comes to religion, we turn it off because everything is by faith. To me, like, faith is like... Like, 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 like religious people use faith as a, a mechanism to turn off their common sense switch. Okay. And I don't, I don't, I don't believe in that, man. As long as I got this flesh on my body, man, I don't believe I should ever turn off my common sense switch because everything that create, everybody that created everything didn't create it for your <laughs> blessing. Thank you. Didn't create it for your good. Okay. Just Thank because you. Every, everybody didn't do things for your good. In other words, when, when the Bible was interpreted, it wasn't. Inter it might have not been interpreted for Kenny's good. It might have been interpreted for the good of another group of people. Okay. Therefore, that group of people, you gotta kind of filter through stuff because. But it still works if you apply it. it that works. But see the principle. Now I'm back to. Now, that's that the just, Bible. It, it, all the it's Bible nothing is. wrong with the principle. I'm talking. We talking about the literal story. The principle. I agree with. And from Genesis to Revelations, every all sixty-six books, I agree with the principles of the Bible. Okay, so then you believe? The Bible. I believe in it. Yes, I do believe the Bible. I so, sure do. I believe in the principles of the Bible. I will not. I will not. I'm not ashamed of that. I so do. What difference do it make if if Samson really existed or not? But that I'm glad you said that. God would use that something story. so so minute. Okay. It's small to get your attention to understand basic principles is, I mean, that's amazing in itself. I agree. And that was my first argument. That's what I'm saying. Hey, Kenny, I'm not disagreeing with what you're saying. Yeah. I'm in agreement with what you're saying. I'm saying exactly. But if you're going to be a fundamentalist, a Christian fundamentalist, and you're going to say, well, no, Samson really existed, and Delilah really existed, and this really happened, and I beg to differ. My first question would be, well, how do you know that? Now, how, you know, how you know he did? Well, the, well, the question should never be how he didn't when it comes to past history. It, the question should always be how do you know who he did? Because when you're talking history, you're talking, you know, that, that's something different. You know what I'm saying? So the question should always be how you know he did? Because I don't have to prove that he didn't because <laughs> there's no proof that he did. You know what I'm saying? So I never have to prove that he didn't. 
that's more proof that he didn't than he did. So the question would be then, how do you know he did? That would this, be my question. But see, this is what's backwards. Because it's all all this information is deriving from the Bible. The same Bible that you believe the principle to be true. How how do you not believe the story then? If that's because, the case, then we can't. We then you don't believe in God. When that's well, a God that you've never seen. Well, this is the whole thing. I it's believe like you in, never seen Samson. You never seen. Delilah, I believe, but I believe never in seen Moses. But how that's do you believe in God be, because I believe in I believe in God. I just don't believe the stories behind God. Oh, that's the issue that I have. So believe in God. That's the only thing that I do believe in. So it's God. It's God. It's God. It's God. It's God. It's God.